Hey, I have a question for you. When you get a speeding ticket, do you actually let that stop you from driving forever? Because the things that happen to you in your life, whether it's business or your personal life, have a really, you know, severe impact on you and how you handle it, you know, is is really what propels you or stops you in your tracks. So, I really was compelled to to come in and share a really personal story for me that happened to me in 2019 actually started in 2018 but carried over in 2019 and how I handled that you know could have actually really you know veered me in a, a completely different direction if I had let it so at the end of 2018 uh, I was in Las Vegas and uh, I was there on business staying in a hotel had been there for many weeks you know back and forth and at night one night um, probably very early in the morning while I was sleeping someone actually broke in to my hotel room while I was sleeping and I didn't know it and I was leaving the next day everything I had except for clothes that were in my suitcase was stolen. I had a rental car. That key was taken and that car was stolen. And I never knew it. I woke up around 5 a.m. in the morning and woke up to a door that was ajar. And my life and everything in my bag, my credit cards, my cash, uh, my passport, my driver's license, uh, data that I'd had for many, many years, all gone. The car gone. And I, I was just flab I, mean, I was flabbergasted. I was in shock. I didn't know what to do. So, as an outcome of that, and I, and I, I was safe, right? So, nothing happened to me, thank goodness. Um, but a very scary situation. So, recovering from that was you know it took a long process so not only did I have to figure out how to fly out of Las Vegas that day because I was leaving the next day but I had to do that but I had to also during that time window report all this stop all my credit cards you know from I had to cancel everything um, start the process of basically rebuilding everything that I had that I lost so after that, there was a long process. Nobody ever got caught, but I started being hacked. I'll just call it hacked. Um, you know, I had people, you know, calling me and telling me that um, I had an issue with Social Security, let's say, that, um, that the car that got stolen that I had to, they, they, they needed to, they needed to find it, so they were going to charge me for that. I mean, there was just all kinds of things that happened over a series of six to eight months after that happened that really um, impacted me. You know, it was stressful. It was it was scary. You know, it's like what what all did people have access to of mine? They broke into uh, my American Airlines uh, account. And actually rented a car with with their credit card and booked a flight with my miles with their credit card and I was traveling and got locked out of my account <laughs> and then that was a whole hassle you know to, to figure out so you know that that experience while it was extremely scary you know one of the things that happened that I didn't know about is that my credit got impacted and it was one account that's it just one account that got impacted and I have things on auto pay I so as, as all my cards got you know reissued I would go in and update things and this particular card the auto pay didn't get rescheduled it did it didn't stick it you know so I didn't realize that though until after months of this you know it not getting paid because it was supposed to be auto scheduled 
and I was busy and I was, you know, doing all kinds of things. So I wasn't paying attention like I should have been. And then all of a sudden, because I monitor my credit, all of a sudden, boom, I realize that my credit took a, a dip. So I have excellent credit and it took a dip. It went, it went lower than it has ever been in my lifetime. And I'm anal about making sure that my credit stays good because I use it in my businesses. I use it from a personal perspective. And um, that like floored me. It had me so upset. And I'm like, okay, now I don't have a paper credit anymore. So what do I do? You know, I'm like, I have these businesses. I'm, I'm always looking for credit for various things. And had I let that stop me, had I not faced that full on, then I, you know, I would have, I, I, I mean, I could have been in, I could have just said the heck with everything and not pursued anything. But I said, you know what, I'm not going to let this stop me. You know, it's not my fault. I did everything that I could to do the right thing. And so I pursued it. I, you know, I disputed it. You know, I, I, I did things, I, I made telephone calls, I disputed it. And at this point, I now have recovered my credit, right? So, you know, that's how important it was to me to not let that impact me in my personal life, in the personal things I do, in the uh, business, the businesses that I have, because my credit is what makes or breaks me in certain situations. So the reason I wanted to share this with you is because we cannot control everything that happens to us. We are going to be faced with obstacles always, every single day in our life, in our businesses, and we cannot let those obstacles stop us. So what I encourage you to do is to really think about those things that, that are impacting you and don't let them stop you. You know, say, what's the lesson I can get out of this? What, what's the thing I can learn from this that I can actually um, put in place so that it won't happen again? What, you know, what can I do to take care of this? There's always going to be a way you can do it. You never, ever, ever should give up. Never give up. Ask for help. Ask for support. Talk to people about what's going on because there's probably somebody that's had that experience. And they can help you and guide you down the path of how to solve it, how to, how to, you know, how to move past it. But don't let a roadblock stop you in, in what you're trying to do. So obviously, you know, I'm speaking to you from a real estate investing perspective. You know, your mindset is what you have to move forward with. So if you hit an obstacle, then face it. You know, what, what is it that you can do to shift it? What is it that, can, that you can do to get it out of the way? Or, or what lesson can you take away from it? But, but don't let that actually stop you from moving forward in your real estate investing career. Apply that to your personal life as well or any other business you have. Just hit it straight on and, and make it move because it is possible to make it move. So I just wanted to share that with you because it really had a major impact on me. I mean, I was in self-doubt. I mean, I, you know, just to be honest with you, I was, um, you know, I was down. I was in self-doubt. I, I was discouraged. You know, I mean, when you work so hard at something, to have something that you cannot control happen like that just devastates you. And I was devastated. I, you know, I, there, there, were, there were moments and times when I wanted to cry, I actually did cry, but it didn't stop me from pursuing a correction to it and doing whatever I could do. Now, I was blessed that it self-corrected by itself, but I was, I was at the point where if it hadn't, I was going to actually get an attorney to take care of it. That's, that's the action I was going to be in to take care of that. And sometimes that's the action that you have to be in. You have to want something bad enough that you're willing to do what it takes to, to get past it. So anyways, I, I really hope that this is helpful for you. I really encourage you that if you are in some kind of situation like that, that you reach out and get support. 
and you don't let it stand in your way. So thank you. Um, you know, I hope this has been helpful for you and we'll talk to you later.